It's Disney Day! So we are in Disneyland and I can't stop smiling and I'm probably the most annoying person in the world today. I mean, he has no comment. I wouldn't want to be with me. So we're having a good time. We are having a good time. It's a little hot, but... It's a little hot. I have my Minnie Mouse ears. You got me in a Disney shirt. I did. I got his shirt from Etsy and I got my Minnie Mouse ears from Etsy too. Significantly cheaper. Top Disney tip. If you're going to go to Disneyland, don't buy the ears here. They're really expensive. Don't buy anything here. You don't want to spend a fortune. <laughs> it's really expensive. So we're having the best time. I'm having the best time. Cozy's just putting up with me being like, I'm having the best time. This fast pass is the real deal. Spend yes. the money on the fast pass. It's okay. So that's tip number two. This is full of tips, but if you go and you download the Disney app, you can get the maxi pass and then it's $15 each, but you can get all your fast passes on your phone and you get like unlimited photos from like the magic photo place. That's not what it's called. But when they take your photo, you can download them all for free. So it's genius. We just got done on Indiana Jones. Neither of us had ever been on Indiana Jones before. It was so much fun. It was great. I'm just having the best time of my life. And they're not even real. Splash Mountain, 75 minutes. 75 minutes. I can't wait 75 minutes. This fast pass situation is the only thing the that real is deal. Cody would be so grumpy if we didn't have a fast pass. She wants to wait 75 minutes where I right. That's, he has, just, that's insane. He has no patience for waiting. You and said you didn't have patience to wait that long no, either, so don't blame me no, for this. I'm just saying that he has no patience for waiting and he also has no patience for crying children. So that's, Disneyland. That's, that's actual fact, so. Disneyland is a real challenge for him. But you're happy. I am very happy. We're having a great time. Seven, the nearest Splash Mountain is 7.55 to 8.55 p.m. Otherwise we're in a 30 minute standby, 35 minute standby. No. Splash Mountain ain't gonna happen in there. At least till 7.55. For sure, this time Slick is no longer available. No! So, yeah. I need to go on Splash Mountain. It's like a dream of mine. And I also need to find this castle to feel like a princess. My most extra self today, and I'm not sorry about it. that experience like all day I was thinking I'm gonna get a, a Dole Whip and I'm gonna vlog about it and then I sat down with my Dole Whip and I was so excited that I completely forgot 
but I can say that it was worth it 100% because I keep hearing people talk about it I was like it can't live up to the hype it did Cody liked it too it was good it was good I got it's it refreshing it was nice I got it with a spoon and then he was, I was like, do you want to try some? Should I get another spoon? He was like, no, I don't want any. And then you, you did check. I did. It was very nice. Um, and also I got a pin from the guy at the Dole Whip place that says I'm celebrating my first Dole Whip, which I appreciate. So everything's going good. Ooh, look. Robot things. Nice. Nice. Um, the queue for that new <laughs> How's it going? Enjoy your day in the outpost. <laughs> the queue for that new ride is pretty long, and neither of us are very big Star Wars fans. Like, I'm here for the princesses, and so we're not gonna go on it. I feel like a million people are going to be like, I can't believe you went to Disneyland and didn't ride the Star Wars ride. But it is. It's a, way. It's a long wait, and neither of us have the patience for that. The first thing we did when we got here was get a fast pass for Fantasmic, and then somehow our app has deleted our fast pass, which I'm very upset about. We need both. We need a pop up still. Here's a bit of hope. We're hoping that it will reappear. I don't know that it will. Ooh. You should tell me I'm getting rich in the look right now. A magic cityscape may unfold before you today. Your adventure could have their downs and ups and may let you hoist a secret flag or take part in a spirited adventure. Magic numbers. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. My day may have downs and ups and my flag will be hoisted. We'll hoist some secret flags. <laughs> made it to the hotel and it is quarter past midnight that was a full day of Disney I don't even <laughs> it was just the best day ever but I am kind of feeling it right now in my feet and back and in general body it's all kind of aching and tired but it was amazing and we managed to fit in the light parade the fireworks and Fantasmic, which was amazing and again final Disney tip that I have for you is quite a funny one because they kind of stagger all of those shows I guess to make people leave the park at different times because they don't want everyone to all try and leave at once just not gonna work um so you can either go and see like Fantasmic first or the light show parade thing. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I don't know if these words make sense to you, but I'm gonna go with it. So either you can go see the parade first or Fantasmic, and then like, they're both on, but like they switch them around, if that makes sense. And we went and saw the parade first. We really struggled to get a good space to watch it just because we had those fast passes on Splash Mountain, which was amazing, by the way, side rant. Um, and so we struggled to get space for that. We had the fast pass for Fantasmic and it worked. And it was amazing because we were right at the front. And it was definitely the best show, in my opinion. So it was worth it. But then when we walked out and the second parade had just started as we were leaving the park. And it, I think that would have been the better parade to watch. Purely because at that point it was 10.45. Everyone was done. 
So instead of like straining to like be able to see, everyone had just sat down on the side of the road and everyone was just like this, watching the parade. So it was really easy to see the parade at the later time because no one was trying to stand. One girl we walked past was had her head in a bush. Like everyone had just given up the will to live at that point because it's a long day and it's hard. So if you're gonna go, I would definitely recommend like see everything, see the parade, see the fireworks, see Fantasmic, but maybe see Fantasmic first, then the parade, because you can sit down and watch the parade. Everyone is just ready to sit down and chill, so. It was just the best day ever. Was it the best day ever? Yes, it was. Sorry, no. But I need to sleep for like ever. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon.